So, uh, get this game underway then between James Murphy and David McGill. James Murphy representing Warwick and David McGill representing Ulster. And I've got Gary Wainwright with me in, on commentary for this one. And Gary, I know you, you know James quite well, apparently. Yeah, I know James. I've uh, known him for a couple of years. Uh, local lad from up my end, but he goes to Warwick Uni. Uh, very good player, very good snooker player. Um, I'll probably put him favourite because I don't know the uh, list, list of boy. Um, could be dangerous saying that. Could, could be dangerous, yeah. But I'm uh, going to put Jay as favourite. England international as well, played for representing his country last year. Jay. So, uh, definitely got a bit of pedigree, yeah. And, uh, they seem to have lost the cue ball, I think, before we can start this game. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> cue ball's been found and it will be Jay Murphy that will get this game underway with the first break. Seems to be repeating myself every single match we've had so far on this table. It seems to be breaking really heavy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't split the ball as well though. <clears throat> I imagine this guy can play a bit because I've heard that Ulster are the, uh, the team to beat. Yeah, also have won the team championships for the last two years, uh, so obviously they are probably favourites and they've got very good uh, pool players, you know, ex-sneaker background so that always helps. Um, I've not seen this lad before, I've been here a couple of years, three years now, uh, but you know he's in the last 32 so he's obviously going to play a bit. frame this one because there's going to be a lot of work to do because the, the pack didn't split particularly nicely at all. Yeah, that's right. Nice safety shot there from Jay. How did you go on yourself, Gary? Uh, I got beat in the uh, opening round before I uh, left from Salford. Mm -hmm. Very good player. Wish him all the best. M missed out on a bit of luck, but you know, pull you need a bit of luck and skill. He took his chances. Uh, I missed a couple of balls, so. But played the team championships this morning. Won four out of four, so I was going into it with a bit of confidence, but yeah. unfortunately, uh, got beat. Across the top of the pack. Yeah, so to watch out the top of the cue ball with that. Yeah. Just try to put that over the pocket. It's not done a bad job. Clever shot by Dave. Just put the red over that other pocket. It's an early game of cat and mouse, really, this frame. It is, yeah. Shot. I didn't want to uh, open up that pocket there for, for Jay, so he'd have to just try and keep control of that left-hand corner. Yeah, Jay's got a yellow there that is obviously towards that pocket, so he needs to get rid of that one. That's 
identified Dave's just put the red over the pocket. Opened up the opened up the reds there. Yeah, Jay, Jay tried to uh, make him play one of his reds over the pocket, but he's uh, he's not going to do that, Dave. He's just going to open his other reds up. If I was Dave, I'd definitely leave the reds there, so it's just parting away at the other reds, I think. He hasn't. I mean, Dave. Dave's still very good in this game with the reds over the pocket, so he's he's just quite happy to you know play around with the reds. It's Jay's gonna have to try and make a move here. to make sure he hits a, a cushion after contact. He did, it was a clever shot as well because he's put another one of Jay's balls towards that pocket which is uh, obviously covered by the red. Uh, Jay tapping the table, it was a good shot that by uh, Dave. Yeah, he's got the two reds over the pockets. Um, as I say, Jay, Jay needs to make a move, either concede a purpose or foul, give away two and open up that pocket, or just try and uh, put his yellow over his red. But David is favourite at the moment for this round. Red's all there all the time, he's always forcing Jay to, to make that attacking move, isn't he, really? Yeah. Yeah. Th he's tried to take it on there, it's a bit unfortunate. He has, he's just jawed it in the middle. Could be a slight opening here, if that red passes the other red into the top corner, this could be a good chance to clear.
going to play the red onto the red here, slowly. Didn't want that at all, no. If he, he's got lucky, he's just put his hand up, he can see this red, so the clearance is still on. Oh, he's played it very well. Yeah, good shot. Left himself almost a dead strike black into the corner there. Yeah, he won't miss this, David. from David McGill gives him a 1-0 lead. Quite a long frame, but it's uh, all caused by that problem with the break at the beginning. Yeah, the break didn't help uh, Jay especially. Uh, David took control with the two reds over the pockets and he was always favourite after that. It was a nice clearance though. Well, both players have left the table at the moment. So we'll go quiet as well. break I think there. Yeah I think Jay needs one at the moment, one nil down but still a long way to go first of all. Well, it looks like he's opted for water actually. <laughs> Jay's a big Evertonian so well not this season but most seasons he usually probably has to take a few drinks, relegation battles and all. <laughs> David fares any better with this break. The key is getting all them balls touching. It's the thing on these breaks. It is, yeah, it's got to be a tight triangle yeah. for, for them to split nicely. 
Sometimes I find it easier if the triangle's actually oversized. So you think to push it on. Hello, Marshall and Southwood. Much better break. Made the ball as well. Yeah. Tell it's a good break because the black's gone up the other end of the table. Both colours are very good, no obstacles. Just by the, two, the red on the right hand side and the red down this bottom row, I might opt for yellow myself here. Yeah, yellows are, are fine. <laughs> Obviously one more ball extra, but it won't be a problem for David. He has nominated yellow. Yeah, while the players went away, they were just discussing the, the layout and, the, and you know, the move to the new venue, and you were saying it's the best one that you've seen out on the, at the University events that you've been to. Yeah, I've been uh, around the uni circuit a few years, uh, been to Derby, uh, Spondon and Coventry last year, but this is uh, by far the best setup. You know, the tables are excellent, uh, obviously referees as well, uh, and it's a much better setup. Yeah, they do seem to be beaving away on those tables all day. I mean, if there's any slight concern over a table being unlevel, they're straight over there. And yeah, they are yeah, straight over there. <coughs> Very professionally well done. Usually these tables are packed away after the weekends, but they're staying up this time because there's the inter-county next week. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of events take place at Great Yarmouth, so... He's not happy with that shot, Jay. He's just landed behind the red. Might cut to the middle. That's a tough one. Yeah, he had to stab at that one because obviously the cue ball was so close to the uh, red and he's, he's just taken his eye off the, uh, the pot. I think he's just come a bit high. He seems to have a nice touch on him, David. But just slightly gone too far for that one. Might have to take the one in the top left now. Frame, so uh, he's doing it again. Obviously, Jay's got two reds there towards that pocket, so always helps.
It's all a bit cluttered up at the top, so I don't think he's going to go for the clearance. Could put the yellow up towards the top left-hand corner, block that pocket again. I think that's the only, that's the only real shot he's got available to him there. Yeah, yeah. he just called, yeah. Of course, when there's no referees, it's hard to enforce the one minute rule. It is, yeah. <laughs> taking his time, but I don't see why. Cause it's, uh, it's the obvious shot. He's not hit the rail. Just rolled off as well, slightly towards that edge on the slate. There's two shots. A little bit harsh, that really. It did seem to roll off. It did, just at the finger marks actually, probably on the Quite clock. possibly, yeah. Still a tough out for Jay though, if he, uh, he does go for the clearance. Now. He's got the one to the left corner, but I think he wants to leave that there, really. The yeah, especially with that yellow there. But if he does take this the red just below the cue ball at the moment, he's got quite a big pocket playing it down. This he has, yeah, he's got the red. And he's naturally coming down with the white. That's, that's very well played. Yeah. Great shot. It's just that problem ball with the yellow now. He's yeah, looking, to, one, he's yeah, looking towards the that pocket where yeah. he's going now, but he's got to get on it. He's on it, just. I think he'd have preferred he to have been a little bit straighter, but... He has got a nice angle though actually now to come round the yeah. top cushion, side cushion and hopefully get on it. It's all about Just the to touch. Get there. That red, he, it's all about the touch. I think that passes into the other corner. That's right, passes into the left corner. Yeah. Does the black go past the yellow though in the other corner? Does. Yeah. It's a great chance for one one. Yeah, great pop by one. Levels it up at one apiece. Fortunately the slight roll on the table has cost David.
first effort that he had. He's got the ball down as well. He's got a ball down, but I don't think he's on a, an easy part. Of each, he's got there. Characteristic miss. It is for J standards, but a long way to go in this frame. As I say, the first part wasn't that easy. A bit unlucky, really, where to finish up after the uh, after the initial break. Inside, it looks like he might used to play in uh, old EPA rules. Quite possibly. <laughs> Sure, if it's reached the cushion, though. I think it just did. by David there to try and cover the pocket but he's just been a little unfortunate. Yeah, just pushing that red a little bit closer into the jaws there. So. Good idea, it didn't quite work out for him. It was a good idea. Could all change again though in a couple of shots. slight angle to come down for these two reds. He's going to have to manufacture the angle though slightly I think. Well, 
right hand side is such unlucky. Oh, yeah, that's been unfortunate. Not an, easy, not an easy shot now. No, he landed right in between those two reds, man. You know, and it, a couple of inches shorter and it'd been alright, really. Even a li little heavier, it would have landed on the other red, so he would have yeah. been able to play that one, so very unfortunate, to be fair. Watch the black. Yellow's looking in a good position from here now, really. They are, it was just that key part. Yeah, fans seem to knock these in, really. Okay, play this into the middle, run up for the last yellow. Very deliberate and assured cue style, isn't he? Yes, yeah. He likes it yeah. Like to the ball too hard. No. It's always a good thing, though. Side ball to the middle, then we'll give David McGill a 2 1 lead. It's got every chance of going all the way, this one, I think, Gary. I think it has, yeah. Not many players are missing. I think it's just going to come down to a bit of luck, run of the balls, because mm. both players are playing well. Hard, but he certainly hits the break hard. Yeah, see, another good spot. Didn't think he was going to get a ball until that last red decided to drop into the middle pocket. I think if it wasn't for those two yellows on the bottom, he'd go yellows, but I think he's gone red. Really, one below the black. You can get position on that one in between the black and the yellow, but this one on the bottom rail is a tough ball here. I don't think yeah. it passes the yellow, does it? This is a tough part. I don't think it does. Yeah, we've improved wrong. 
didn't look like it passed at all. Yeah. Hard to see from where we're sitting there. It's just obviously the last red now. It's. Gal, you're on TV, you're a fuck's sake. <laughs> bit, bit of banter with the Ulster boys. Try to leave an angle. I think he's. I think it's okay. Screw this back off the off the side rail. I think he'll be back out to sort of. Yeah, middle the middle of the table should be okay. He's missed the pot though. Okay, got to pop the ball first. So a chance for Jaden. He hasn't been given an easy opener though. He hasn't, and he's obviously got a yellow safe now towards that red over the pocket. So he's up against it in this round. Played a nice shot there. Covering, well, not covering the pocket, but obviously blocking the pocket. Certainly is, and it's tough for David to get that red out because there's another th two yellows and the black surrounding that red. I don't know how that's quite stayed out of the pocket though, he's hit it. <laughs> and the don't, don't touch the table. <laughs> Same shot again? Uh, no. <laughs> Jay's making him play this ball. to play it unless he wants to play a deliberate foul. There's, I mean, there's no advantage of him potting this red because he's not going to get on the red. I think the purpose for foul is the best option, but that's how he plays it.
Not a bad shot, that one. Not too bad, he's, he's freed the black. He's actually made his red available to that corner as well, I it think. It has. And he's not left Jay with an easy opener. Yes, he's got two, but not the easiest starters. this one it's uh, it was a good pop to the left middle it was I think he wanted a bit more angle to come up for the three yellows in the corner I might have to force this one a little bit So this one's tough. Someone else with a lot of support there, mate. Yeah, I think Jay's teammates just bowed out. Jay's scared of if he pots this one, the in off into the middle pocket is on. So I think he's just taking a bit more time over it. He's played the double, he's just missed it. He's got a second visit there though, hasn't he? But he's not really left himself any favours. It's a tough shot, this one. This is, yeah. The angle he's left it, he's going to have to come up, up and down. Um, um, he could have done with that extra shot for the black, but not easy now. for the safety but he's kind of put his yellow safe I'm not happy with it he's shaking his head trying to do there David. It's difficult to because the ball was so far into the pocket, it was difficult to manufacture an angle to try and get into that other end. Thank you. 
bit of a loose shot there from David. He's left the one on the cushion. And Jay, <laughs> Jay normally eats these for breakfast. He's got to take these out this opportunity, really. Certainly has to three. If he goes three one down, he's in trouble. He's missed that one um, into the corner. They're always tough, though, especially if they're just slightly away from the rail. Not left it easy, though, for David. Especially where the black is as well. <coughs> this red's certainly not a gimme, though. It's about. He's not got the option of the double as well, so. Certainly not easy. He's had a go at the double. He went for the double the other way. Yeah. Second and possibly last chance for Jay. It's a slow up. Looking down the line, he might have to swerve this slightly. That's how he's queuing it. He has. And he's played it well. Good shot, he's played it very well. 2-2. Two, two. So you've uh, picked one of the longer matches to commentate on. Match at Portsmouth. Certainly have. <laughs> Again, that white ball has drifted towards that top cushion. Made two red soap. Yeah, I think he's got a long red into the bottom left hand corner. Don't see any other red on, unless he goes for the yellows, obviously. Going for yellow. Sue Mitchell, table 26. Sue Mitchell, table 26, please. Wanted to kiss into that last yellow, but hasn't happened for him. Don't think he's got a pot on, though. Possibly just a safety with this yellow up the top left to cover that bag. <coughs> He's not covered the bag, so this is a chance now for David. That looks as if it rolled off slightly again, that did. There might be a few problems in that corner on the table. Sure, the referees might have a look at it after the get after the match. David's called a foul on himself. He must have touched the ball with his cue. It's very honest of, the, of him. It was either that or he called a foul on himself. He didn't like the position of the cue ball. <laughs> Quite possibly, yeah. He's <laughs> played that nicely. Great chance now for Jay with two shots to go three two up.
be a good comeback as well from 2 1 down. Yeah, David seems to be a tough cocky, so. He's missed a few balls as Jay as well, so he'll certainly take 3 2 in his favour. Okay, last 32. Christopher Charnock, Edge Hill versus Tom Burke for uh, Tom Birch, York. Nice so far. I think this is the only problem ball in terms of getting on the last yellow. I can't see it being a problem. Just play this through with such a size. Just no, just yeah, he's fine. That was, as I say, that was the only problem maybe going behind that red, but he's played that nicely. Still got the extra shot as well. Obviously goes top right. He's got two shots at this black. Doesn't need them though. He doesn't. Three two lead then to James Murphy. From two one down, as we said. David want another toilet break there, but they have been playing for 53 minutes. It's probably fair. <laughs> probably wants to compose himself, get his thought together. He needs to win the last two, but he's not been allowed the toilet break. Struggling with the table again now. Problem with the the table again. Be Mitchell to table thirty five, please. Thank you. 
So Dave McGill then comes across and checks that rack. After the referee has racked it and he'll re rack it himself. The problem with this table, the ball's been getting lost underneath the That's slate and not been going into the ball return. You know, he needs to make this frame count now, Dave McGill. Another solid break, this time he's made a ball. Another good break, definitely yellows there. Just about got away with that one there. <coughs> Two balls and one shot. Yeah, I don't think he wanted that, but I think he's okay with this yellow. He's right with this yellow at the bottom, I think. Yeah, going to the bottom right. right. Quite possibly the one in the middle as well. it nicely. Great chance now for 3-3. Three, three. Oh, that's the worst shot he's played all day. Probably is. It wasn't the uh, hardest of shots. That is very careless needs to make contact here because the reds, other than the one by the black, are pretty easy for Jay. So, tough, but a chance for James Murphy to win frame and match at this visit. He can find a, a starter. Because the red's by the black, he might play a safety shot behind it and try and get the two shots. That's how he feels. No, it looks like he's going for the pot. shot along the rail there. He's got every chance now. He's still got this difficult red next to the, the black. He's going to have to find some way of getting on that. Just about gets away with it. Kind of like a golf shot, it's gone right round the pocket. <laughs> He's got fortunate, especially if this red does pass the black into the left middle. Can't really see from our angle. It's tight, definitely. <laughs> He's having a look at it now. We'll soon find out in the next couple of shots. Key shot this one then, getting onto this last red. Put all his eggs into one basket really, hopefully it does pass. Obviously, I think from the way he's played it, he's looking at a double here. Or possibly even a safety. I think it's going to have to be a safety because I, I don't think the double's on, but it 
It might well be. <coughs> Fairly big pocket as well with that yellow there. Can snick off that. It's slipped past the black, yeah. He's gone for a safety shot. One good pot here from David and it's a bit of screw and it's 3-3. Three, three. He's had a go at it. He has had a go. Because he's hit it fairly hard, it's just kind of bounced out. It's now a bit of a test for James as well. Not easy right on the corner pocket as well. The lip of the pocket will be slightly hampering him. It looks dead straight as well, so no angle. Again. He has, he's been a bit fortunate because he was uh, he was very close with the pot. I think this is going to be a safety shot as well. He's played that very well. Playing it behind the red. Oh, he's just given two. He's not happy with that one. No, two visits. This going to looks like it's going to a decider. This one. Remember, he's got two visits on the black as well. Yeah, I'll just roll this one down, I think, unless he plays the double across. He's played the double across, and he's played it very well. It's going to be a last frame decider. Three each, then. Anybody's game now? It is. Both players have made a couple of mistakes. Playing pretty well, though. Flip of a coin, I think. The break's usually important here, though. I think Jay's got the break. Breaking for the match, he is. Nice bit of luck. Needed. Right. He lost the cue ball up the other yeah, end. He lost the cue ball, but there's two balls down, I think. Could have been worse. I think he's got a red to middle, if he wants to take that. Two yellows down. He's got a couple of reds to the middle, I think. And Zari likes it. Could play the yellow into the bottom left. Uh, it looks like he is. No, he's going the other side, but he is going for yellows. Towards the bottom right for that yellow, but he's just come up a little short. Right. 
I mean, before that, 10 minutes. As soon as he hit that, look, he had missed it in my eyes. Yeah, he wasn't very close with that, Jay. He's a bit disappointed with that visit. Big chance now for David. Three tricky balls here, though. It's not the easiest of run outs, and he's just knocked that one safe as well. He has put that one safe, and he's got four balls on the cushion now. <laughs> he's having a joke with the Ulster boys, but this is a serious frame. Rob Park, Cambridge. Chance for Jay, and I can't see him missing this now. What a gift! And, uh, and he's lost the white ball, that's all he needs. Joe Latimer, Exeter. I'm taking all that under the table here. He's got a good temperament though. This won't put him off. Problems with this. Uh... We don't want to move the table whilst they're in the middle of the game. That's the problem here. Someone coming to fix the table, but. So if we get another cue ball, it could mess the uh, the balls up down there. So I think we're gonna have to fix it. are going everywhere. <laughs> she just wants to throw ball out. It's chaos. See, it's not rolled off that much because it's... <laughs> <laughs> the uh, table technician now and a bit of banter with the crowd. Won't belt the Jay this too much though. As I say, he's got a good temperament. He's just looking where he's going to pop with the last four balls. To send him through to the last 16. So two visits finally after another delay with the table. These balls, he shouldn't really need to use those two visits. Uh, bread and butter, this for Jake. So a few ups and downs in this, but he'll take the win. That's just the black now into the middle. Thank you very much for having me. We'll be back shortly with the last 16 match.